Hey guys, my name's Ashley. A lot of people refer me as Ashley Kay. I'm a wedding photographer based out in Melbourne, Australia, and I recently converted to the Panasonic S-Series cameras, which I'm loving at the moment, but it meant that I needed to find a new flash system for me that was easy to use and worked well with my cameras. I got my hands on the Godox AD200 Pro and the V1 flashes, and so far I am absolutely blown away by the results. So today I'm gonna to take you through some techniques that are really easy, things that I do in my everyday wedding photography work using flash systems. It stands out from the everyday natural candid photography. We are today at the Villa Alba Museum in Kew, one of my favorite locations. I love the architectural vibe that it's giving me as well as the vintage, beautiful chandeliers, beautiful artwork on the wall. And this is the type of photography that I love being able to create using flashes. So, we have the first setup here. I've just taken a walk around Villa Alba and I've noticed this beautiful archway, which I love. It's a doorway just inside Villa Alba. And I thought this is a great opportunity for me to set up my bride and I can see a small pocket of natural light on the right hand side of the image where I can place the groom. So I've placed my bride and I've taken the first shot, which is using natural light. It looks great, but it's lacking light. So what I've done, is I've set up an AD200 Pro with no modifiers, just behind the window. I would like to be able to create that illusion that it's beautiful light coming through the back to light up the bride. However, when I took the first shot, I feel like it's lacking the warmth that the sun would give us if it was sunset. So I took the photo using the warm gel and that backlight with the AD200. I finally got that beautiful warm feel that I wanted in the image. But then I realized my bride is too dark in the image and I really want to bring out that beautiful detail in her wedding dress as well as illuminate her face. So I decided to ask my assistant to hide behind the door with a V1 flash. I've also placed the warm gel on the flash, but I noticed the groom was quite dark and I wanted to be able to light him up just that little bit more so that I could see his pose. I took another V1 flash and put it on the other side of the door and I had the assistant aim it towards the groom. But I noticed there was a lot of spill of light on the floor of the image as well as the groom, he was a bit cool. He wasn't matching the overall feel of the image. So then on the final shot, I decided to add another warm gel plus a grid to control the direction of the light onto the groom and I got the shot. Sometimes at weddings, we don't always get hired to stay to the end. So we may do an image called a mock first dance. It's a very common photo to get, especially when you're not being hired for the full reception. So I've set the bride and groom up just underneath the chandelier because I wanted to make it feel like the chandelier is lighting them up. I took my first shot using natural light and I realized it does look great but I could do so much more to this image if I just put a flash behind them. So what I did is I got an AD200 Pro, I placed it behind the bride and groom, and I took my shot, and I noticed that there was a lot of spill on the bottom of the image, so a lot of light on the ground. So I placed a grid on the AD200, and I was so much more happier because I just had the bride and groom lit up. But I noticed that the chandelier was quite cool and I wanted to get that warm tone that I had in the first image. So what I did is I put a warm gel on the AD200 as well as the grid to control the spill of the light from spreading. It gives the audience the feel that it's the chandelier lining up the bride and groom, not the flash. Once I got that shot, I thought, how can I make this shot even better? And that's when I asked my groom to dip the bride in a dance pose. It brings a little bit more fun and personality to the image. Now for my third and final shot. It's my night shot. I'm gonna take my bride and groom outside. I'm gonna place them in the middle of the tree line. I'm going to first take a shot using no light, so just the ambient light that we've got there, which is very minimal. It meant that I had to have a really high ISO, and in this case, the image was gonna be very noisy. So I decided that I definitely needed to add in a flash, and I added in the AD200 Pro, maybe two, three meters away from the couple in the back, 
but how about we warm it up so we can just make it look like that little slither of sun in the background is creating that warm temperature that we wanted in the image. So I popped on that warm gel and then I got the shot. But then if you can see on the bottom of the image, you can see all this light spill again and it's a lot more than any of the shots that I've taken today. It's just very distracting. So again, I took out my AKR1 modifiers, which come in so handy. I thought, let's try a barn door to really get that direction straight onto the bride and the groom and not on the bottom of the image. The overall image was warm to match that little bit of sunlight coming back in the background and the image looked great. It's time to get a little bit of fun and happiness into the image. And I had a couple of bottles of champagne in the car and I thought, how cool if we shake up the bottle and we open that bottle and then we get a massive explosion of champagne everywhere. So what I did is I took the barn doors off in this case because I wanted as much light as I can to be able to capture and light up all the champagne that was going to go everywhere. The big massive explosion of champagne. That was the final image that I loved. Using flashes will 100% set you aside from other photographers. It's really easy once you get the hang of it. The Godox flashes are so portable as well. So all you have to do is stick one in your camera bag and whenever you feel like you wanna create something different, just pull it out, pop it on, have an AKR one in your bag, have some modifiers, play it around and create some images that you're gonna be proud of. Thank you so much for listening.